Hey guys, going Gonkish here, making more videos again. And today, guys, we're gonna be talking about this brake fluid tester and how it could save you a lot of money. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So I went to a dealership and I had done something extremely simple. I'm going to show it to you in a second. I have the receipt right here. However, they gave me a list of inspection recommendations that they told me that I had to do. And I'll show you right now what I'm talking about. So here's the actual receipt right here. Let me zoom in. And I did a inspection that literally cost $25. And if I scroll all the way to the bottom right here, it has inspection recommendations. The first one is perform fuel system cleaning service. Apparently it was a fail and the cost was $159. The next one is what we're going to be talking about. The third one is replace cabin air filter. When I checked at my cabin air filter, it was perfectly fine, but they still rated it as fail, about $51 right there. And last but not least, replace air filter, which was on caution, $31 right there. Both of these filters are perfectly fine. I checked them. But the one thing I wanted to check because I read online that they do this often, which is they perform brake system fluid exchange, uh, found brake fluid excessively dirty and contaminated. And they didn't even put that as a caution. They put it straight up as a fail and they told me that it's going to be $120. If I did everything, the total would have come out to around $462. But that is a note, guys, especially with the brake fluid, guys. So what I ended up doing, instead of paying $120, I spent like less than 10 bucks on this brake fluid tester right here. And this is the actual device. It's a small, tiny little device that gets the job done, tests your brake. It's suitable for dot four, and the instructions are extremely simple, guys. So let's actually go test out my excessively contaminated brake fluid that's in my vehicle right here let's open the, this hood and you know just for the fun of it let's open this guy as well just to see where they are both at and how they compare all right we have both of the hoods open right here one and two. First things first we're gonna look at the actual tester itself extremely simple device to use like i said it looks like a pen and the battery is already in here it comes with a battery as well so you don't have to worry about that you pop the top off right here put that down here are the two probes right here that you actually stick into the fluid itself turn it on by pushing the button at the top like so there we have it, we have green light right now. Put it into the brake fluid and it will test if it's okay or at risk. Anything in this section right here is that it's contaminated. Anything in this section, it means you're okay. And this means you're pretty much perfect. As you can see, extremely simple device. Spend less than 10 bucks on this instead of spending $120. Let's put that down to the side and let's actually show you how to take this bad boy off. Here's the actual brake fluid reservoir for the Highlander. It's gonna be in the same location pretty much for both vehicles. The Genesis is actually right here. As as you can see the highlander is right here as you can see and you'll immediately be able to spot it now let's actually open this bad boy right here on the highlander it's like a pool like this um, very old school method in my opinion but you know gets the job done and what we're gonna do is actually going to push the button and we're actually going to put it in there and let's test this bad boy out. And as you can see on the Highlander guys, it is less than 1% of water that's in the brake fluid. So this is perfectly fine guys. It works well and it's going to get the job done. I don't have anything to worry about. Putting the cover back on as quickly as possible. You don't want any kind of moisture getting into this bad boy and make sure the seal is on tight as you can see okay now that we saw it's less than one percent that means that is an okay and nothing to worry about if it gets up here if it's in any of these reds right here you're gonna have to actually change it out now i have tested this with a even older car and the worst i've seen is at two percent so i really think you rarely have to change the brake fluid guys i have my paper towel right here let's actually wipe this off and let's get to the genesis all right the tester is clean ready to go now let's check out that excessively contaminated fluid and making me really worried making me want to spend $120 here's the actual reservoir for the brake fluid let's open this guy up make sure that your you know engine is cool and stuff like that don't try to do this when your engine is hot let's get the tester as you can see let's hit that green light and put it straight in there turn it on for the green light and put it in there and bam within a second it shows that it's less than one percent water content that's actually in the brake fluid it's completely okay it's not even hitting the two percent but as you can see guys the dealership said that it's completely contaminated and everything like that you know making a person super worried about it however you can see you've tested out yourself and it's perfectly fine let's actually close this bad boy up keep it nice and tight make sure there's no water that actually gets in that okay because obviously and with that guys this thing really does work well a lot of youtubers also talk about this now you have a 
ten dollar tester and then you can keep and test any vehicle so i have no idea what they're talking about my brake fluid was excessively dirty and stuff but that is not the case and it saves me 120 dollars guys but yeah guys i'll leave the links to this product in the description section of the video below you guys already know it i'm absolutely loving this thing i'm going to be using it whenever i need to and with that being said there should be a subscribe button and also a video button popping right here make sure you click on for more videos in the future and that guys can just share saying thanks for watching and peace